everyone namaste and welcome back to my channel this is the third episode of my mental health awareness series humanity ki chain today we will be trying to throw some light on the deep stigmatized issue related to mental health that is seeking medical help mental health treatment when and why is it so important and to throw some light on it we have our third guest that is dr swati bajpai dr swati is a a licensed clinician and she has been working as a psychologist into the private practice in US Dr Swati has worked with US government in the public behavioral health department she has been closely dealing with clients going through depression anxiety facing life challenges and trauma this is very important that we talk about seeking medical help and to do this i welcome Dr Swati she will be able to throw some light on it and help us understand the importance of seeking mental health treatments when and why it is so important so let's welcome dr swati hi my name is swati bajpai i'm a psychologist working in the chicago suburb area of the us currently i work in a group private practice earlier i worked with the public health with the government um so currently most of my clients who come to me are the ones who have anxiety depression some of them also come for grief therapy for losing some very close to them or a relationship sometimes even a pet earlier with the public health with the government i was working with people who had chronic mental illness like schizophrenia bipolar chronic suicidal ideation so overall i would say i worked with a wide range of mental health issues today we're going to be talking about what mental health treatment looks like and who needs it um i know there is a lot of stigma related to mental health but if the body can get sick why not the mind because the mind is the one which actually controls the body so if we put ourselves on a scale of 1 to 10 i would say most of us including me are between 1 and 3 that is we have our good days bad days we feel anxious we feel depressed or we know what to do we can call up a friend we can go to the library we can go out for a walk so we can know how to handle it things get difficult when we are going from 3 to 4 that is when we are functional but it's not that easy so i would say for mental health treatment functionality and quality of life are two factors which determine when and who are the ones who need it if you're feeling that it's getting affected uh please do seek treatment so most of my clients who come to me are already between 5 to 6 that is a major part of their days getting spent feeling helpless hopeless tearful they don't feel like getting from the bed and these are signs of depression or they could be having racing thoughts that is one thought after another after another and they can't put a stop to it or obsessive thought that is one thought that keeps playing again and again and again like a broken record and again they can't stop it again so uh um, that affects their focus in life it affects their work performance it starts affecting their relationship and then that's when they come in for therapy to me some of them already taking medication some of them want to try therapy first i work with the medical model of mental health and uh, i if there is a need i encourage the use of medication so um we work along with the medication if there is a need so what is therapy you would ask me therapy is uh something which explains my clients their symptoms their triggers their uh coping skills which typically are negative and how to process all those thoughts and emotions and come up with healthy coping skills a lot of them uh have parents who've had depression anxiety because just like physical health mental health also has genetic disposition so uh if the parents didn't have healthy coping skills they don't have it either um uh, a lot of time it could be trauma it could be environment because we all are product of our environment too so when they come to me we process all these things we understand some of the things which are triggering it for them and then we find out what can be some of the healthy coping skills which work individually for each and every client of mine Uh, also i would like to inform that um, substance abuse and mental health go hand in hand somebody who has a uh, substance abuse problem that they are resorting to alcohol drugs or even smoking cigarette have had depression anxiety a lot of people who smoke cigarette have had anxiety issues uh but they didn't know how to express the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions behind it when they were younger and they thought that they're going to take care of it by using alcohol or cigarette or drugs but it doesn't help it actually creates new problem because some of them end up going for alcohol or drug rehabilitation programs also diabetes and depression go typically hand in hand 
because somebody who has type 2 diabetes which is an illness uh, it's a lifestyle illness it is because they are not taking care of themselves they're not going out for walks or doing exercise eating healthy food because they have been depressed which I explained earlier about some of the symptoms so please I would recommend that please do seek out treatment for your mental health issues because just like physical health if you get cold and cough and you don't pay attention it becomes pneumonia so if you don't pay attention to what's happening to your mental health you can end up being in a psychiatric ward of a hospital um, nowadays there are a lot of new technologies new medications that are there new therapy models are there for you to take care of your mental health so uh, please do understand that just like physical health mental health also is very common depression anxiety if there is medication that is needed we take medication for thyroid and diabetes too so uh, it should not come as a stumbling block and mental health is not madness it is much way beyond that mental health affects your physical health a lot of times your body aches stomach aches feeling of dizziness which you are not understanding uh, are also caused by your mental health issues so I hope um, all this is helpful for you and when the time comes you will seek treatment thank you for listening I hope you take help that was an insightful share, Dr. Swati. Thank you so much for sharing such important information with all of us. I'm sure people will understand the importance of seeking medical help and think beyond the stigmas attached to it. So I just hope people learn something from this session. And I'm very thankful to you for taking out some time and being a part of this initiative. Thank you everyone for watching this and if you want to be a part of this initiative, you can email me and if you have any suggestion or feedback, do not hesitate to email me. I will be there listening to you. Thank you so much.